Uh, it dissolves chemicals. You can go ahead and pass it on. It dissolves chemicals. So it does a wonderful job of hiding the ant trail. A cap full and a, and a quart of water. Spray it in your house. You got this wonderful citrus smell. I use it anyway because I have cats and sometimes there's so much hair, it's like, <coughs> I used to do a lot of, uh, I still do incense. So it, I found that when I light incense, I can breathe after a while, you know. Oh, I can breathe. This stuff, mist it around, you can breathe. And then the, I have cat hair. Unfortunately, I don't have any white hair today, but I got cat, cat hair. So I use that stuff. So I use a cap full of that in, 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 a, in a quart of water. You don't need too strong, you know. Very nice and clean. You spray it. Where? 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 Where you find it? Well, you're going to get a bottle of it today, and the, the phone number is right there. And what I would do is go to the store and say, so why aren't you carrying this? That's what I did to my local grocery store. I took a little bottle and I said, why aren't you carrying this? And now they're carrying it. I went to my local health food store. Why aren't you carrying this? Because the stuff they're selling in their citrus, you look at it, petroleum distillates, you know, and that's the chemical that you get sick on. See, that's the chemical that goes in your body and causes liver disorders, all kinds of stuff. Is that the stuff that's in cologne? There's a lot of petroleum that states all over the place. And, and it's really bad because your liver and your kidneys just doesn't know what to do with it. <laughs> After a while, after years and years in doing this, it's like you're, you walk and your kidney falls out, you know? Oh. <laughs> you, you know, you can put the kid, Jeff, there's the cap to it. And I, when I first ran into it, actually a, cust a member, I have over 8,000 members, a member sent me a bottle. She says, Andy, you've got to try this stuff out. And because, you know, it, it, it will kill all insects. Uh, it, it just, the citrus really works at a molecular level. That's how it cleans up all these toxins. It cleans up chemicals. As a matter of fact, that stuff is so good. Doctors are realizing now that citrus is anti-cancer. You can put a drop of that in, in a tub of water and, and it sucks the poisons out of your body. So that's also, and it's on top of that, your cat or dog can fo follow right behind you and it's not going to bother. They'll go, whew, because uh, my cat, my dog, uh, I have a customer who, when I sprayed for ants, he goes, because it's really, you know, really strong for any animal. As a matter of fact, you go camping, you take that with you, you're not going to get any mountain lion or anybody going to come anywhere near you because that citrus, if we can smell it, they smell it like a thousand times even more. And I use that as a way uh, to deter other creatures too. With very sensitive, delicate noses. Great for, for rats, great for snakes, great for all kinds of creatures that de rely on their nose. Yes, ma'am? What, what do you think? Yes, know. yes. Yeah, so what you do is you, you find the right strength to add, too much of wasting it. Uh, usually, a rule of thumb if you can smell it, spray. Everybody else can smell it too. That's what I use for deer repellent. That's what I use for all kinds of creatures to keep them away. Yeah, you gotta spray it just regularly because after a day it's gone. That's the only problem with it. A lot of times what I do is I take cotton balls, dip them in there, and then hang them up. And they'll stay for days and days and days. Sometimes a week or two will stay. It depends on the rain and stuff. But so this is a great tool right there to use, the citrus. So that's one thing. There's two things you can spray, a natural soap, and a natural citrus. Here's another thing you can spray, and I didn't bring a bottle while with, with me, cinnamon. Cinnamon oil, essential cinnamon oil. You know what that is, cinnamon? You know what essential oils are? You do, but you know, a lot of people nod and they don't really know. What's an essential oil? You're right, it's a tiny little bottle and it's, uh, it's a concentrated of that plant. Uh, I remember in the seventh grade I was making my own essential oils. I blew up the house. Poof! Parents come home and say, okay, what don't you do now? I said, I was trying to make peppermint oil. You know? I did too much, and I forgot. It blew it up, you know. I blew up the garage a lot of times when I was young, making all these things. Because I would make all these things myself. I still do. Um, ask Jeff, he works for me. I make all these different liquids. and <laughs> I'm just a mad scientist. Crazy. <laughs> so let's see. Essential oil, cinnamon. One drop of cinnamon oil in a gallon of water, or a quart of water if you're like me, you're really crazy. Will just kill anything on contact. It kills white fly spiders. It has a chemical in the cinnamon. You know, makes sense, right? The cinnamon is, is a natural chemical. And so one drop it would drive the ants right out. It's just the ants would go, we'll be back, right? And uh, same thing with um, any of the essential oils. Because I use a variety. I've learned, I made this one mixture of essential oils.